she's a little bit thinking about biting me right now. People ask me how many times I've been bitten. I honestly ask them how many times have they farted. <laughs> and they go, that many? And I go, probably more. <laughs> oh, I gotta be careful. My name's Jay Brewer, and I really like snakes. You get what I'm saying? I own this place called the Reptile Zoo, and it's been a childhood dream, and it's got all kinds of crazy, cool, crazy animals in it. I said crazy twice. We got tarantulas, spiders, we got all kinds of different kinds of snakes. So right over here are actually my gators. This iguana is insane. This is Rex. <laughs> There's so many kinds of snakes. We got tortoises, and then we got some really cool stuff over this direction. Look at this. This wasn't, this isn't very thought out. <clears throat> okay. This snake here is actually an anaconda. It's eating its breakfast. <laughs> Hopefully this is B-roll, but whatever. But those aren't my biggest snakes. So I think we need to get out a big snake. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna actually measure my favorite snake. It's a reticulated python. I really just wanna know how much she's grown in the last six months or a year. So I'm gonna pick up the front. Come on, girl. Come on. This is my oldest daughter. She was literally born here. <laughs> what, did I, I took two days off? <laughs> Actually, you were born, and the next day you had to come to work. One day. <laughs> There's all these silly little photos of me, like two years old in diapers, carrying around snakes all around me. Laura is like the CFO. I mean, she's not like the CFO. She's literally the CFO, AKA president. I joke and I say that I make sure the place doesn't burn down. Okay. The other side, the other side. Right up here, less picking up. There you go, right there. <laughs> okay, you go all the way over there. We'll see if she wants to go along with this measuring. Come on, girl, now let's see if we can get you to straighten out. You wanna go that way? This is where it gets a little complicated because we want her to do something she's not wanting to do. Oh, this is where it all goes wrong. This is where it goes wrong. <laughs> Why are you, what are you trying to get me to do? I'm in charge. When you're dealing with an animal that's capable of wrapping around a 200 pound wild boar and killing it and eating it, how do you out muscle a muscle? I mean, it's a solid muscle. I mean, you can see. <laughs> then come back there, Laura. Give her a chiropractor adjustment. We're gonna have to call it 19 foot, 11 inches is what about I got out of that. It's actually more than that because I can't get that kink out. Just under 20 feet. We tried a lot of ways to measure a snake and it's, it's not easy. Oh my gosh. All this started from a childhood dream. I think I like reptiles because I found a lot of comfort. When I was a kid, I just, I had nothing. Coming from an orphan background, I spent more time than most kids would ever spend outside. Seeing the different kinds of animals was really fascinating to me. I just decided that I wanted to do something different for a living, and I basically bought a small pet store that had a little bit of reptiles, and eventually it turned into the reptile zoo. I found that a lot of people are really interested in things that they're scared of. Come on, girl. Come this way. See, so right there, you see that? She's a little bit, she's a little bit thinking about biting me right now. So what I have to do in order to prevent her from getting escalated into a problem is I'll just take her hunt, take her perfect target away and I'll touch her for a minute. And now I'm back to normal snake. But she would have struck me right in the face if I'd have kept going forward. Jay's to the extreme, so I sort of reel him in a little bit. Laura's gone, right? <laughs> Come on. You don't want that, do you? Come on. Come on, whoa, 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 come on. This one's quick. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, you don't want this, do you? Come on, come on. Whoa, hey, that's my foot. Come on, there you go, come on. 
Look at that. That is cool. <laughs> Anything venomous is truly dangerous. Anything non-venomous, come on, we'll put you back together. <laughs> it is, oh. and we'll see this big, uh-oh. Oh, Ooh, I gotta be careful. <laughs> Ow! We've had to have a few stitches here and there. Today, we're actually gonna do a Gaboon Viper video for YouTube and Instagram. Have you ever been bitten by one of these guys? God, no, and I hope I never am or anybody that ever works for me. A venomous snake you don't wanna get bitten by. I almost died from a venomous snake in the wild. I have to invest all my years of experience into staying calm, cool, collect. Okay, you guys, so check this out. Gaboon vipers have long fangs, the longest fang of any venomous snake in the world. So I'll be a little bit careful. Is that incredible or what? These are actually one of the fastest vipers there are, especially left to right. So I wanna go ahead and block this direction. Come on, girl, look at that. Now. A girl like this can sport a solid two inches long fangs and the amount of venom that they can actually shoot at one time out into their prey is astonishing. Look how incredible that is. Is that an incredible snake or what? The rule of dangerous snakes is real simple. Don't mess with them. Look cool? Well, I can't even to do it actually. <laughs> huh? I'm not getting a good shot. Uh... What? You ready? It can't come towards you at all. I don't want you to get too close to it. Come on, push the damn button. That's as close as you can get. Okay, I'm done. Come on, girl. Back in. We survived. So right over here are actually my gators. We've raised these from babies. So we got, this is Darth, right here. Huh, boy, huh, 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 dog. <laughs> They're all looking like, hmm, hmm, Scooby Snack? Huh, huh? It's gator hating time. <laughs> Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Okay, oh, 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 oh. Ain't supposed to get the tongs. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, you're coming out, aren't you? Oh, are we going for reality here? No. Okay. I thought we had a little reality series gonna happen here. Now the good news is if you to come out, that's why Tim is right there. Because at the end of the day, we gotta make sure he doesn't go that way. If he does, that's where I have to jump in and deal with it. Okay. Oh, okay, come on. Come on. Oh. Wow. How's that for a snap? Did you hear that, Laura? <laughs> that was crazy. I'm watching you. This iguana is like just just scratch my back, would you? <laughs> I never thought I'd be successful. I never, I, I always knew I was gonna try, uh, but I never thought I could do this well. <laughs> I mean, I've been able to work with my family. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but this, it's a big deal to me. Want another bite? Huh? I'm hungry too. Mmm. There you go. So Beckham's part of the family. Starting from what I consider pretty close to the bottom, how can a little kid that literally was orphaned at 14 and had 500 bucks and nowhere to live dream that big? You know what I mean? Living the dream is literally allowing yourself to take the risk to find your way in life. Share the love, guys. Peace out.